Did you call a bank? I call game. If you want to buy cheap, reliable NBA 2K19 MT, go to dvdj.com and use my promo code PAC to get a 5% discount. What's up, Pack Nation? It is PAC here, and today I wanted to do a new idea I had about ratings for NBA 2K19. I wanted to talk about the players that have never been to the 90 overall club in the history of 2K games. These are only current players I'm doing, and I was interested to see who was just not good enough to make the 90 overall club and the case I'm making for why they maybe should make the 90 overall club. Just reminding you that if you want to win one of the giveaways, either pack merch from Zwello.com or 200,000 VC for free or NBA 2K19 for free, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, and then tweet at me done. You do these things, I'll put you in a randomizer and you can win one of those for free. Let's get this video started at number five, Kyle Lowry. So currently, Kyle Lowry is an 88 overall, and his lowest rating ever was back in NBA 2K7 when he played for the Memphis Grizzlies. He had a 70 overall in that moment. But now Kyle Lowry has been playing like one of the best playmakers in the NBA and scoring as good as he usually does. He used to score way better, but he's still scoring a pretty good amount. The thing about Kyle Lowry is you can make the case that he was actually better a couple years ago, but I still think he's really, really good. So I'm thinking back in like 2016, 2017, when he was averaging 22 points per game, seven assists. I think Kyle Lowry, and he's a great defender, I think he could have been a 90 overall in that moment. Now, Kyle Lowry right now is leading these Raptors squad with Kawhi Leonard, and he's been great for them so far. They were the best team in the East for a while. I think the Bucks just passed them, but still they're looking like a favorite to make it to the NBA Finals. So we shall see then, but Kyle Lowry, I believe, at one point could have been good enough to be a 90 overall. Now, if you look at the all-time Raptors team, he's considered the third best Raptor of all time. They haven't added Chris Bosh, to be fair, but he's also considered an 88 overall on this team, when I believe in his prime, in like the peak of his career, he was a 90 overall. At number four on this list it is Celtics player Gordon Hayward, who is an 81 overall currently. His worst rating ever was back in 2K12 with a 63 overall. But in NBA 2K18, just last season, he was an 88 overall. And that was because of the season before that when he was playing amazing with the Utah Jazz. And then the se last season, he was injured, so we never found out how good he was with the Celtics. And now he's an 81 overall. But he was an 88 overall with the Jazz at one point because he was stupid good with the Jazz. Easily their best player. He actually made the playoffs with the Jazz considering that they hadn't made the playoffs in a while without him and look, look at the stats he's putting up 22 points per game five rebounds four assists with the utah jazz at one point looking like one of the best players in the nba at that time one of the best small forwards had a pretty okay field goal percentage even a good three-point field goal percentage he was playing great in 2016 2017 with the utah jazz so the fact that he wasn't considered a 90 overall at that time is kind of messed up if you look at his all-time team rating with the utah jazz they only give him an 88 overall just like kyle Lowry, but i think he could have been considered a 90 overall at one point we're gonna stay on the utah jazz at number three with the best player on the utah jazz rudy gobert now rudy gobert has been defensive player of the year already he is seven foot one the wingspan of an eagle this dude is insane when it comes to defense and he can also score he's one of the best scorers on this team and that's not that's not even his game and yet he's scoring a pretty good amount he rebounds a lot rudy gobert is clearly a great player now is he a 90 overall he is one less than 90 overall right now at an 89 overall his worst rating ever was a 52 overall which is crazy back in 2k14 and his best rating ever is right now an 89 overall in 2k19 uh, Rudy Gobert is also one of the best shot blockers in this game. I think if he was just slightly a better scorer, like just slightly, he would be considered a better player, maybe like a 90 overall. Like if we consider Jokic a 90, I could say that Rudy Gobert could also be a 90. They're not, they don't play the same game, obviously, but I do think that they're as good as one another. But then again, the Nuggets are doing amazing in the West and the Jazz aren't right now. So you can make the argument either way. But I think that Rudy Gobert could be a 90 overall, maybe in a year. Right. If you look at the Jazz all-time team right now, he is considered an 88 overall on this all-time Jazz team. I mean, that's going to be bumped up to an 89 because he's an 89 right now. And maybe one day, a 90. The next player at number two is Blake Griffin. 
This was the human highlight reel for years. 87 overall, currently in NBA 2K19. And believe it or not, Blake Griffin was never a 90 overall, never joined the 90 overall club, not even once. In 2K10, he was a 76 overall, that was his lowest rating. And then in NBA 2K15, he was an 89 overall. And I believe at one point, Blake Griffin was better than Rudy Gobert, who's an 89 right now, right? So I think that Blake Griffin easily could have been a 90 overall. At, there was a point this season where you could also argue he could have been a 90. He'd been playing amazing this season. Not as He's not playing as good as he was at the start, but he's still playing pretty dang good. 25 points per game, 9 rebounds, 5 assists. I think that's, that's not completely accurate because he's played more games so far this season. But he had a season when he was averaging 24, 10, 4, and he was yamming it on every player in the world. There was a time when Blake Griffin was scary to watch. Like He was just throwing it down to everyone. He was doing okay defensively, and now he has a jump shot. I don't know why he's not a 90 already. If you look at the all-time Clippers team, they actually have him at a 90 overall. So even 2K thinks he was a 90 overall at one point, but they never gave it to him, not even once. And finally, at number one, a player that never joined the 90 overall club, and I can't believe that, is Kevin Love. Kevin Love right now is an 86 overall, and his lowest rating ever was back in NBA 2K10 when he was a 72 overall. His highest rating ever was an NBA 2K13 when he was an 89 overall. He was one overall away from being a 90 overall at that time. He never joined the 90 overall club. That's crazy to think about. Now, when we look back at his prime, his best time in his career, it was easily, easily with the Timberwolves. Now, 2K considers him to be a 91 overall in the all-time team. Remember, this guy, he was scoring 26 points, 13 rebounds. I mean, those are crazy numbers. And even crazier, 26 points, 13 rebounds, and 4 assists. There was one point where Kevin Love was scary and his three point field goal percentage was good for a power forward, which was unheard of at the time. Kevin Love was was easily a 91 overall at that time. An amazing player. He's also on the all time Cavs team, but he's only an 87 overall, which I understand. I don't think he was a 90 overall on the Cavs, but with the Timberwolves, I absolutely believe he was. And that is it for this video, you guys. Did I miss anyone? Leave it in the comments below. And if you like my channel, give it a sub and I'll see you guys next time. Did you call a bank?